gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and much appreciated you guys checking today's video out and I'd like to invite everybody out there to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't had a chance to do so and uh, you're inclined to do so. And also I'd like to invite you to uh, subscribe to my second channel, The Fishing Teacher with Randy Blockett. I'll put the link in the description to that. That's a channel I started at the first of the year that's geared more towards the guys just getting started out in bass fishing. So uh, much appreciated there. Okay guys, I wanted to do this video because man, I hit a nerve with a bunch of people over the video I did on the Rebel Crawdad a couple days ago. It's basically saying how this is like the most overrated lure, can't catch any fish on it. <clears throat> my inbox and my comments got covered up with people. It's like I insulted their mom that I insulted the Rebel Crawdad. These guys had an emotional attachment to the Rebel Crawdad and uh, they were just saying that I was just so full of it and talking about all the fish they'd caught on it everywhere out there. So um, here's, if you're not familiar with it, here's what we're talking about is this Rebel Crawdad. And the video I did, um, you guys can check it back, I did a couple days ago. I did a video on these things. These, these things came out back in the 1970s and I bought several of them back in the 70s. I can't catch a dang fish on them. I mean, I fished them. They look realistic whatever reason i can't catch fish on them so the video i did was talking about that and uh like i said i got covered up with people just saying that's the most ridiculous thing and give me examples so anyway let's talk about that a little bit um all you dudes out there that are fans of the rebel crawdad uh, i'm not trying to insult the, i'm not trying to make you feel bad or, or trying to you know uh you know just you know say that you're wrong for fishing the rebel crawdad if you're catching them on it I'm impressed because I can promise you, take your Rebel Crawdads, come over here to Missouri and, and come fish Table Rock Lake, Bull Shoals, Stockton Lake, Truman Lake, and I can promise you, you'll go home empty handed if you fish the Rebel Crawdad. Now, I did make a comment in there that I, that I have caught some fish on it in creeks and rivers, and a lot of the guys that were or that were talking about it, they alluded to that. I don't know if they didn't hear that part of the video I talked about. But it seemed like most of the comments came from the guys that were that were from the northeast part of the country. So maybe they bite this thing up in the northeast. But guys, I can tell you right now, this thing sucks in Missouri, the lakes. I mean, you might catch them, like I said, in a creek or something on it. But uh, you try to fish this thing in some of the lakes we have around here, and it just doesn't work. Believe me, I have tried it a lot. Um, so like I said, I just wanted to do a little quick follow-up video on that because... I I didn't expect that type of reaction to it. I'm I'm talking. There were some guys that were they were pissed, just like they were pissed when I talk about how you know I don't think you need to use and I think using braid to fluorocarbon is a bad idea. So anyway, don't get bent out of shape about it. Like I said, it's just I was just expressing my experiences with the Rebel Crawdad, uh, which has not been good. And I like I said, I don't I'm not I don't have any bias against the Rebel Crawdad. I would love to catch them on it. The thing looks good. It looks just like a crawdad. But for whatever reason, uh I can't get any bites on the thing. So anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll talk to you later. See ya.